again in our classroom corner coming all the way from Abu Dhabi where it's very very hot outside. I hope you're all doing okay it's lovely to see you again. Now we're here to give you a helping hand if you're missing school. If during this period of isolation and lockdown you want to do a bit of extra learning or you need some help with any element of homeschooling then please feel free to drop us a line. You can send us an email on this email address here and we can deliver a lesson just for you. Just name your topic. What is it that you need to learn? What are you struggling with maybe at home? Now, please don't think, oh, Miss Sarah, she only does um, infant things, things for the little ones. Nope, I've taught all the way up to year six. So if there's anything that mum and dad are sitting at home thinking, hmm, we need some help with this lesson, then please, please, please send us an email and we can do a lesson just for you. Now, has anyone seen my friend Gerald? Do you remember Gerald? Tall fella, yellowy coloured fur, two little ears, pattern, long neck. Do you remember him? Have you seen him anywhere? I really could do with having a little bit of a chat with him because I wanted him to help me with some sight words. Will you call him with me? Okay, let's give him a call. Gerald! Gerald, where are you? Oh, I can hear a noise. Hello, Gerald. How are you today? Are you feeling okay? Are you sure you're still missing school and all the children? Well, we are too. We're missing school as well. So perhaps we can have a little bit of school today here in our classroom corner. What do you say? Okay, great. Well then, first of all, I thought we might practice some sight words. You know sight words? The ones that we should just know as quick as a flash when we see them. Yeah? Well, let's have a look at some of the words that are in the same family, okay? Now, Gerald isn't very good at his sight words, are you? So we'll all help you, okay? Please don't worry. And it takes some time. Now, I've got my sight words here, and mine are all nice, pretty cards, okay, shaped of flowers. But it doesn't matter what your sight words look like. You can do them on post-its. You can use those magnetic letters on your fridge. They're a good idea, aren't they, Gerald? Yes. You can even put them on the back of the bathroom door so then when you're in the bath or on the loo, you can practice your sight words. Anyway, let's have a look at our first sight word today. Okay, can you see it, Gerald? It's a B and an F. Okay, but the letter F, this sound F, is also called the letter E. That's its alphabet name. So we've got a B and an E too. So B, E, B, E. B, well done. B. H, E, H, E. He. M, E, M, E. Me. W e w e we now this is the trickiest one of all because we've got these two letters here the s and the h making a sh sound sh e sh e she shall we go through them again one more time Gerald okay are you ready, boys and girls? B. We. Me. He. And she. Well done, Gerald. You're getting very good at those. Now then, if you can practice those sight words, that will really help you with your reading and your writing. Let's go through them one more time. 
been. He. Me. We. She. Well done. Write them out. Put them on your fridge. Put them in your bedroom. Ask your family first and then you can practice them until you recognise them all instantly. You could also try writing them too. That will really help. Now, where's Gerald gone? I can hear him rummaging somewhere. <laughs> to go in our garden to play okay but remember we are on lockdown so you only can stay in our garden okay what have you got in your bag anyway let's have a look shall we make sure you've got everything you need oh I can see you've got your hat great you've got your sun hat because if the weather is sunny Gerald you are going to need your sun hat so well done, you've got your hat. Oh, you've got your mug. Is that if you need a drink in the garden? So you've got your mug as well. Well done. Your hat and your mug. What else have you got in here? Hmm. You've got a pen. Yeah, did you want to do some drawing in the garden? As it's a nice day, okay. Oh, and I can see you've got your pad. That's your pad, isn't it? Gerald's pad. Great. So you've got everything you need. Should I make a list of everything that you've packed, Gerald? Just so that we remember next time when you go in the garden what you will need. Yes? Okay, I'll make a list. I'll do it on our board here. You take a seat and the children will help me write your list. Okay. All right then. Now then, children, should we write the list of everything that Gerald's taking into the garden? I know that you can help me with these CVC rules. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, so I've got the list ready for us to make of the things in Gerald's bag. Now, I've put a little line for each word, just so that we remember there are three sounds in all of these words. Okay, are you going to help me write them? All right, now what was the first thing Gerald had in his bag? Can you remember? Yes, in case it was really sunny, he had his hat. Hat. Now, what's the first sound in the word hat? Can you hear it? Correct. Let's write our hat. Hat. Can you hear it? Correct. Well done. We got the hat. I'll pop that in the bag. Just so that he makes sure he brings everything back inside. Now, what else did he take? Oh, in case he wanted a drink, he took his mug. His mug. This is Gerald's mug. I must make sure it comes back in from the garden. Mm, mug. Did 
Did you hear that first sound? Mm. Yes, a mmm. Mmm. Ugh. M. Uh, uh, for umbrella. Correct. M. Ugh. G. G. For girl. G. For goat. Well done, boys and girls. G for girl. So we've got mug, mug, mug. Great, that can go in Gerald's bag. So he brings everything back in from the garden. Now, what else did he take? Let me remember. Oh yes, he took a pen, pen. Hmm, what's the first sound in the word pen? Pen. Well done. P. P. Air. Can you hear it? P. Air. P. Air. N. N. Correct. N. Well done. P. N. Done. and he had one more thing didn't he yes that was it I can just see it on my table he had his pad pad shall we write pad I just want to make sure he brings everything back inside pad P for pen P for pad P well done, you're so good at this, boys and girls. P -a -d. D -d -d -d. P -a -dog. P -a -dog. Right. P -a -d. Pad. Shall we read them all? Just to make sure he brings everything back. Help me, boys and girls, let's say the sounds. Well done, we've got everything on the list. So now, Gerald can go outside to play in the garden. Just our garden though, just so that he keeps safe. And until next time, boys and girls, mums and dads, grandmas and granddads, and all of the family, stay safe and keep well. And remember, if there's anything that you want to learn about, send us a message to this email and we can do a lesson just for you. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time.